here and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm wearing a hoodie. How funny is that? So we're actually in the middle of a move. I don't know if you guys know that, but we are moving in a couple of weeks and so much of my clothing is packed up already. Not to mention the fact that I am recording a ton of videos in advance so that I don't have to worry about setting up the um, new spot super quickly so that I can continue my schedule throughout the months of February and March without me having to panic about setting up my new room. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like I had to explain because this is not my usual attire. Yeah, I just thought it'd be fun and comfortable today because we are doing a very, very fun video and that is going to be an unboxing video. Now, this is going to be my first bag that I've purchased myself since my Kelly bag and when you see what it is, I think you're going to be really, really surprised because first of all, it's not even from a brand that I normally shop at, which is super surprising. And second of all, once you see like the color and everything, you're going to be so shocked, but I will explain to you guys why I've bought the item and why I absolutely love it. So quick disclaimer, I did buy this item from Farfetch and I did have a little bit of a credit left from doing like a collaboration with them so I didn't pay full price for this item but it is like I said a handbag so I still did have to pay a good chunk of the money myself and honestly I love this item so much that a couple days after it arrived I already snipped the you know return tag off of it so yeah that is how much I love it and like I said I will go through everything with you guys after I unbox it. Now before I unbox this item I did want to say if you do like this video and you like these types of videos please hit that subscribe button down below before you go. I would love to see you back on my channel. I do upload twice a week and I do monthly giveaways so there is a lot to see on this channel. All right so here is the box and it is from Gucci. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably will already know what this is because I did ask your guys' opinion about it on a poll but if you don't follow me on Instagram which by the way you should you will be very surprised at what this item is. All right so it comes in this ginormous box for some reason. It's got this really beautiful print on it. Here is the inside of the box. Like I said it's a very huge box for like how big the bag is. I mean the bag is just in this little dust bag and the rest of the box is just tissue paper so I'm not sure why it came in such a huge one. All right so here is the dust bag. I'm so 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 excited to show you guys this bag because I have been carrying it around for the past week or so and I've been really careful not to snap pictures of it but I'm so excited to finally be able to, you know, share with you guys on Instagram and my stories and stuff, like my outfits with it and everything, and yeah, let's just get to it. All right, so I'm going to reveal to you <laughs> the Gucci Marmot bag. I know. If you guys follow my channel, you'll be super surprised because, one, I've already had the Gucci Marmot bag, and I sent it back to Fashion File with so many reasons why I didn't want to keep it, and now here it is, back in my collection. And not to mention the fact that it is in a larger size, and it's got silver hardware. Like, what? I don't normally like silver hardware. I only have two bags of silver hardware, one of them being my Antigona and the other being my Lady Dior, so both of those have very, very minimal hardware, but this Gucci logo is freaking huge, and plus the chain is silver as well, so... It's just so, so different for me. Now, before I go on to the reasons why I absolutely love this bag, let me just show you guys, like, the basics of it in case, I guess, you haven't seen a Gucci Marmont, but I'm sure that you guys have. Um, so the front just looks like this. It's got the big GG in a silver hardware, and then the way that you open the bag... Oh, sorry, let me actually just close it first. So the way that you open the bag is that there is a little clasp on the bottom of the bag. You just push the button up. And then you open the bag up like this, and um, here is the inside. It's got like a microfiber feeling kind of lining, and then there's also a zipper pocket in the back, and literally that's it. Um, the back of the bag has this really, really cute heart that, oh my god, I love so much. You guys know me and like heart-shaped bags and everything. I just love it. So yeah, I am a big fan of this heart. I know a lot of people aren't, but I'm personally a huge fan of it. And then, of course, it's got this um, double chain thing. It's kind of like the Chanel with the two grommets, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, like a long shoulder bag or a crossbody bag if you want it to, but I've just been doubling it up. I feel like this kind of bag is a little bit too, um, it's a little bit too large to be a crossbody in my opinion. So yeah, I have been mainly doubling it up like this, and I feel like it's really, really comfortable. The reasons why I love this bag and I decided to buy it. I was actually on the hunt for a new bag that I could carry 
pretty much like to work that carries all of the stuff that I need to without um, being a tote bag. So I love my tote bags, of course. I love my, you know, Neverfull, but I've been carrying my Neverfull so, so much that like, I'm not getting sick of it necessarily, but it's getting worn out really, really quickly. And I know, like I always say that, you know, the Neverfull is such a awesome, strong bag and, you know, I wear it to death or whatever, but sometimes your girl gotta switch it up and I just need something else to carry to work. And as you can see, most of my bags are very, very tiny. Most of my um, bags can't even carry an iPad and they have both a mini iPad and an iPad Pro. So at the very least, I need it to be able to carry my mini iPad. And like I said, most of my bags are just way, way, way too small too. So I actually wanted to start using my Chanel Jumbo more, which is right here. I'm actually going to bring it out to you guys to show you um, like the size difference. So I tried to use this one more, but it is very, very heavy. Every time I've done reviews about this Chanel Jumbo, I always mention the fact that it is extremely heavy. It is not a bag that you want to be carrying every single day, especially Especially if you're carrying a lot of stuff, which I do to work. So if I'm carrying something to work, I stuff my bag pretty much to the brim because I want to make sure that I have literally everything that I could possibly need. It can carry my iPad mini. I have no problem putting it in here, but it's just so heavy and the shape is really, really boxy as well. So I don't feel like it's very comfortable as an every single day type of bag like I was looking for. But I do want to say that this is very, very similar to um, my new Gucci bag. I mean, they are both like flat bags and they're both very large and they're both kind of like the same um size when it comes to like height and everything i'm pretty sure they're the same yeah they're kind of like the same length too so very 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 similar the difference is i do feel like this gucci bag can hold a lot more is because that there is only one flap so if you hear like rumbling or like crinkling in the background sally is like going through my room and because of the move there are like boxes and stuff everywhere so she's like trying to like crawl her way through every single box but anyways like i was saying the flap isn't like too restrictive but you definitely do notice it when you are you know trying to pack as many things as you can into the bag but anyway so that is one of the reasons why i do really love this marmot bag i mean i've been using it for the past week like i said and it can hold so so much so previously i've had the small size before and it is really similar to the chanel classic flap in fact if you do want to you know find out more about the small size in the Marmot bag. I will leave a link to the video that I did um, before I actually resold that one back to fashion file i did do like a whole review on it and why i'm sending it back so a lot of the things that i did say in this video still do stand i feel like this is like a trendier bag but at the same time it has been around for a couple of years and honestly just for the functionality of it alone i don't feel like it's going to really go out of style that quickly i mean of course like a lot less people are carrying this bag i feel like but at the same time they do keep releasing it in new colors and everything too so i do feel like like it has the potential to stick around for a while and like I was saying it's just so useful to me that even if like you know people don't carry it around anymore I'm still probably going to use it like to be honest all right so I'm actually going to show you guys what I can fit in here and really um, how much that it can hold so when you open it up it's just one compartment like this I don't normally use like flap compartments or zipper compartments or anything but it is nice to still have so I'm going to be putting my iPad in there first so this is the mini it goes in perfectly just like this with the carrying case. Now after that I'm going to be putting my mini pochette in here. This just houses um, you know some of my essentials like my lotions, lipsticks, hand sanitizers and all that so that goes in there. And then next I have my Louis Vuitton um, pouch that I carry for work. This is from my old Neverfull and this just houses like my um, checks and cash and all of the stuff that I do need for the restaurant so I'm going to be putting this in here as well. Alright so currently the bag looks like this. Next I'm going to be putting my Chanel card case in here. Next I'll just put my phone. So I just slipped it in the um, middle like that. Next I have my little lint roller and I just stuck that in the back like there and then I have my car keys and my house keys so I'll just slip that in the middle. So here we go. As you can see, this is pretty much everything that I would need for work and it fits really, really comfortably in here. The um, leather of this bag is so soft and it is really malleable. So like you can stuff it and feel like you're not overstuffing it, if that makes sense, just because it's so soft and squishy. So that is why I do feel like you can carry a lot in here. And even with all that stuff in here, I don't feel like the bag is too heavy, especially as I'm carrying it on the shoulder and the weight is distributed pretty nicely, especially with the two 
two straps. If I fit like this much stuff in my jumbo, it would be a lot heavier. And yeah, I just feel like that's not very practical for carrying every day. So just having another bag that is an alternative to carrying like one of my big tote bags to work, it's just really nice to have sometimes. I mean, of course I'm still gonna use my Neverfull on the days that I just need literally everything with me but on the days that you know i can you know be a little bit more compact and i do want to carry just like a stylish bag to work where i can bring it out in the evening as well this is definitely going to be a really great bag for that i didn't actually talk about the color but obviously it's in this beautiful shade of pink and i think that this pink is actually really similar to my lady dior bag which i have right here as you can see that they are the same like kind of pink and this is the only other bag that i have also that's got like prominent silver hardware so i think I think the thing about silver is that it just has to be the right shade of pink if that makes sense if the pink has got too much like orange tones in it i think silver really doesn't look very good with it but i think if the bag has more of like a blue undertone or a cool undertone which i think this one does have i think that silver actually goes really well with it just let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this bag and like the color and the hardware selection and everything i would really love to know before i go i also wanted to remind you guys about february's giveaway i am partnering with with Love Shop to give away this beautiful bucket bag. With Love Shop is a company that sells so many cute items on their online shop. You can check out their store at the link in the description below. But yeah, we are giving away this bag for the month of February. All you have to do to enter is leave this emoji in the comment section down below. Please also make sure that you're leaving your Instagram username as well if it is different from your YouTube name. You also do have to be subscribed to me on YouTube and also following me and with Love Shop on Instagram. All of the rules will also be in the description box below, so please check it out. So the way that my giveaways work is that you can comment on as many videos as you like within the month of the giveaway. So within the month of February, you can watch all my videos and comment once on each of them with that emoji that I was talking about and you will be entered that many times in the giveaway. So the more videos that you watch and comment on, the more chances you'll have to win. And I am doing exciting giveaways every single month. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that your February is going good so far. And thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there and I will see you next time. Bye!